Hey, what's going on guys? It's Donnie's Donuts here. Welcome to Game 6. As can the East pull this one off and can they beat the Western Conference here and uh, win this series or are we going back for a Game 7? As, well, let's find out. As the anthem finishes here, here we go, game number six, before, as if the East wins, we can get on with the PPHL season 16, or we have a game seven, as here we go, as uh, next year's All-Star Series is going to mean a lot more, so it's actually going to mean something next year, the rules come into play, as we don't know what it is yet, but we're going to find out soon, as... For next year is Clark Moutry shot that's over the net. And now here comes the captain, Daniel Keats. Keats brings that puck be back to the point to Halle. And now Keats now has battling there with him. Keats wins it. And now Ryan to Halle. They got it there. Ryan shoots that stop there by Goss. And so the two two goal top goalies back in. Logan Witte versus Matthew Goss here to start game number six. As if there's a game seven. Then you can choose whatever goaltender you want. As off the draw, Earl shot scores. No, it's waved off. As what is the verdict here? As a C, as was it kicked in? It looked like it might have been kicked in. As oh yeah, it looked like kicking motion there. Let's see what the call is. And it's a no goal call, so it stays. 0-0 zero, zero here, so that's a that's a break for the West there, as Jonathan Burke's goal got, gets called the back, so we're still tied at 0, as now Earl picks up that puck, now they bring it to a neutral zone, here comes Jonathan Burke, Burke in the zone, in the corner, right down to Gordon now, as oh my, that shot, I don't think it got through, and now Gordon again, now that's blocked, and now Houdon's got it. Charles Houdon, they bring it out. Here comes Wu Wang as he, she gets hit as they can't move the puck up. And now on the counter comes Burke. Jonathan Burke around. And now with the bubbles now shot that stopped. They get it back again. Burke across. Gordon ch back. Shot off the crossbar. Oh boy. As that was a great chance for Colby Hallett to strike first. As I think Goss also got a piece of that. So guys, um, for this game six, there's no audio. So I'm so I don't know what happened to the audio, but it just seems to not work. So we're gonna have to play this, do this game without audio. So I mean, there's no big deal, but you would rather have audio in it. But now here comes. Thompson now in the zone. Here comes Tage Thompson now trying to get that towards the net. Trying to pass that to Dexter. Now Dexter across. Stop. This line had a big game number five as this was a good line for him. And now in come, back comes Trent Walsh now with it. Walsh to Henneberry. And now they get a Swain in front. That stopped there. And now that was a good save. And now Walsh again trying to go short side. And now McFlanagan gets it up. Here come the West now. Dexter to Thompson. Tage Thompson walking in as he stopped. He's uh, stopped by Putt. And now in comes Rylan Swain. Swain now trying to bring it to the net. And now Scott over to Thompson. They get a chance. Here comes Tage Thompson. Scores! Tage Thompson with a snipe. And the West strike first here in game six. Wow. As he just flung it towards the net once again. This line is big for him. Off the blocker and in. That's a tough one for Logan Witte. And so 11.43. Left in this first. It's one nothing West. So Maddox gets that puck off the draw, and here they come again. Is now trying to get it, get another goal here. As first lines back on for both teams, and now Glenn Williams gets over to Andrew Whalen, and now Keats gets it off the puck, and now he's trying to get to him. Daniel Keats right to the front of the net. He scores. He snuck one in, and what an answer for the East here. The captain Keats. Wow. 
As let's look at this one again. As he beat, as he beat uh, the defender to the puck, gets it right, and he sneaks one in. As Goss is probably going to want to have that one back. Look at that. And so the game is tied now. With 10.36 to go. And now face off one there. And now here comes Moutry. Clark Moutry trying to get that puck in. And now Kettlewell as looking for the puck now in the neutral zone. Witten's got it. Here comes Trent Witten up in the trying to feed it to the slot there, but he can't do it. And now in comes Colby Ryan now as he gets it off the puck by Keith Ryan. And now trying to get in there, and now Keith Ron brings the puck in the zone. Here they come in front. That's blocked. And now right in front again. The puck is free as they get it now as as the West make a line change. As it's kind of a dangerous line change. Here come the East now. Oh, and now Earl trying to shoot that one. That's blocked by Maddox. Here they here comes Houdon now. Charles Houdon out for the West. He shoots trying to go glove side. As that's stopped by Logan Whitty. So 7.20 to go here in this first period. 1-1 one, one your score. As can they get it done? As now, here comes Burke now with a Jonathan Burke. What a move! As now Burke in the zone. He's got it now. Trying to feed it across, but he can't do it. Now Carey's got it over to Houdon. Charles Houdon over to Bombay now. He stopped here. And now Bombay... Uh, is battling there, got it. Now bubbles over to Burke. Here comes Jonathan Burke, shooting as he stopped there. And now on the counter attack, here comes, now gets that in. And now <clears throat> Colby Hallett now around to land and ready. And now the fourth line on here. As now missed the pass there. That was a bad pass. Here goes Wu Wang trying to take advantage. But she can't get that towards the net. Great job by Jacob Putt. And now through the neutral zone. Here comes Jacob Putt. Carries the puck in over the Comroy. Trying to get that one through. He can't do it. And now Bedard on the counter. Connor Bedard. The fourth line on now. As once again stolen. Here comes Jarrett Carey. He's got the puck. The captain for the Southern Shore Breakers. And now... That he lot loses it to Dexter. Mason Dexter from his own own end up to Din. Ryan Din through. Din in. What a chance and a good save by Logan Witty. As Andre Sveshnikov as oh my he just took a hard hit. If you're an Aerie Stars fan out there, oh man, that is not good news. He is gone to the dressing room. That was a hard hit from Scotty Gordon. I mean, it's the All-Star Series, but I mean, like, I don't know if you should be taking that hard hits in this series. I mean, risking an injury here before the season even starts. And that, it, that's not look good. As obviously his leg looked like a crushed in. Oh, man, that looked like a hurt. But, so the West down a player now. And now in comes Russell. When I say the Erie Stars fan, not happy at Scotty Gordon right now as that's stopped there. And now gets it up. Here comes Walsh. Might have a break. Trent Walsh. Overshot. Oh, that stop. Eight seconds to go. Sullivan now back. Shot. They score. Deflected in front. It's Noah Hedeberry. As that was a one-time shot by Jacob Putt. And with five seconds remaining in the in the... First period, it's a 2-1 East lead. Look at this deflection. Wow. And so, 5.6 seconds, they have a 2-1 lead. That's a big goal for the East, as that's going to do it for the first period here. Second period's underway, and a penalty right off the draw. The West just took a penalty off the draw in the second period. What a start to this one. So the East will get a power play to start this period. Interference to Trent Witten, the captain. And so that uh, that's going to 
the uh, interference call and the, the East go on the power play here. So it's an opportunity now <clears throat> for the East here to get up by two here to try and get us some assurance. And now one by the West, Wu Wang, trying to get that down, but Keats is after him. And now Houdon gets it out. He's going to carry it right back in the zone. Here comes Charles Houdon trying to feed it to the to Wu Wang there, but couldn't do it. And now Jacob Putt now. they got to get something here on the power play here. Now here comes Burke in the zone. What a move by Burke right to the net. Has that stopped there? Has what a... And now a penalty coming to the, the east here. As Jonathan Burke's going to go off. And now it's going to be a, some four-on-four four before a brief East power play as he'll go off for interference. And, oh yeah, that is a that is a penalty. And so the the four-on-four four for a minute and four, as that's one there, and now Gordon's got it. Gordon over to Hallett, and now they'll bring it through neutral zone. Daniel Keats trying to get it to the, f trying to get it there, but he can't get it. And now Niedermeyer in his own zone, trying to find an open man. And now Longshore's two on one. And now John Scott off the post. John Scott with a good chance. Now Kettlewell might have a break the other way. But what a play there by Clark Mutry as to get back and steal that one off. As well, what a chance for John Scott to tie it. And now. Hallett now got it in his own zone. Now they're short-handed. And now Kettlewell gets it up through neutral zone. They gain the west zone. Nice big hit there. And now John Scott around. He might have some open ice. And now Keith Run shoots as that stopped there. As I don't even know if that got through, actually. I don't know if Hallett blocked that or not. And now gets it across. Ryan with a chance that's gloved away. And now on the counter, Keith Ryan, the first line on. And now... Oh my, can't get that one. As now back the other way comes Ryan. Kobe Ryan, they can't get anything here to trying to gain the zone. But good job by the West here to stop them. And now gets it over. John Scott with a chance again as he stopped there battling behind the net. As now Sullivan comes out with that. He's going to bring it through the neutral zone. He's going to bring it right into the zone. Trying to feed it in front. What a stop there by Goss. As what a chance for... Daniel, or I believe, as what a chance for the East there. I don't know who that was, but gosh, what a save. And now face off here. Won by the East. Sullivan off the draw. He stopped there. And now another chance, but what a play by Daniel Carey to stop that pass. And now here comes Ross Sullivan now. Ross Sullivan for the West. He brings it in, trying to feed it to the front there, but good Good pick off there. Back comes Earl to Bubbles. Bubbles now shooting as that goes through the crease. Can't get er and now battling there as that goes through the slot. Pardon me, not the crease. And now Houdon through center to Daniel Carey. He gets stopped at the line by Jacob Putt. And now uh, here comes Ryland Swain back in denied access by Russell Sullivan. That's a two on O. Oh. Trent win it scores. No, it's waved off. They're going to say he bulldozed over the goaltender. Let's see. He had too much momentum. And they're going to call that goalie interference. That is a questionable call. Let's see. I mean, the puck was probably going to go in. So, I don't know about that call. So, a face-off here at the, the east blue line. As now trying to get in. The zone, but denied access. Here comes Trent Walsh in the zone, trying to go wide, but good job by the defense there. Wu Wang's got it up. Here comes the East now. Ryan now can't get through. Good job there by the defense. Here comes Henneberry. What a pass. Whalen can't get that one, sh that shot through. As so defensive hockey here. <laughs> Eight to six was the final score in game five. And it doesn't look like it's going to be another wild one like that unless they start to pick it up. But as it's 2 to 1 still, now back over! Oh, Ryan Din had a good chance, but that was blocked. And now Houdon shot that's blocked. Or that was a blocker away, actually. And now another shot by Din. What a save! There. As the goalies finally change here. 
So Nugal as Sherry Potter in for the East to try and finish off this series. And uh, Morgan Moutry in for the West as now gets it across. Niedemar right on net already to test her immediately. But she comes up to the task. Here comes Landon Reddy now trying to get that one through, but he can't. And now here comes now Connor Bedard. Back, or he backhands that one in. And now Hallett back to pick that one up. And now Hallett now is going to bring it up. Colby Hallett right up through center. Can he bring it coast to coast here? Is it, he brings it beyond the net to Conroy. Now Ryan shooting off the post. Colby Ryan hit it the post. He had almost made it 3-1 to one there. Now Bedard, as that's not going to be enough for icing. And Kettlewell gets it up. Here comes Ryan again. Colby Ryan to the neutral zone, finds Colby Hallett. Back, shoots! That stop there on Daniel Keats. Good. That was his first save after coming in here. And that was a tough one. Tough save there, so... With 4.30 to go here in the second period, can they... Can... The East gain on their lead, and Ryan's going to get tripped up. And that's going to be another power play here for the East. As Ross Sullivan trips Colby Ryan up. And so, as obviously that's from Colby Ryan's hard work down low. As he poked the puck right off the face off. And Ross Sullivan just, he got the stick in there, and that caused him to get tripped up. So, that was unfortunate for Ross Sullivan, but... Uh, nonetheless, uh, East power play here to try and get up by two here. And that's one by Kettlewell. Shot off the draw. That's blocked. And now Dexter now. But he gets stopped at the line. What a keep there by Williams. Now Burke right in front. Keats. Oh my. Moutry looking behind him. Keats almost snuck one through. That was close. Trying to put a five hole there. As... Obviously, the the butchers have they have a lot of high expectations this year. The Botwood Butchers do, as obviously Keats, the captain of this all-star team, and that one's offside, as they have President's Trophy aspirations this year. That's their uh, so. I mean, after having such a solid season last year, after not making the playoffs for a like for Daniel Keats' whole career up to last season. Obviously, their team is now all of a sudden have high expectations this year after finishing second in the league. Here comes Bombay, two on one, short handed now, right in front. What a save there by Sherry Potter. Oh my, Ryan or er, Dexter almost put that one in. He can't believe it. Now the other way, he stopped there. Dexter can't believe he didn't put that one in as he he tries to kill off the rest of this power play time. Obviously, the Butchers, like I said, they're one of the top cup contenders this year. As now gets it there, Earl. The back door. What a save by Mutri. As that was a tough save on Landon Reddy. But he keeps us a 2 1 game. As still 2 to 1. No goals yet in this second period. And it's almost to the end of it. As three seconds off in the power play here. Can they get a f play here? And now Putt shoots, trying to get a deflection. Loose in front of that. Another penalty coming to the west. Just as the penalty comes to an end, they get another one. And Ryan Din this time goes off. So this is going to last pretty much the rest of this period. 2.03. So actually, it will last the whole period. And it will be four seconds Four seconds into the third before this one's over. <clears throat> Here comes Ross Sullivan. They're going to bring it up short-handed again. But Keats now with a good play. Now Niedermeyer is going to bring that puck in. He's going to dump that in himself. He's going to battle there with Gordon. But Gordon there with a good play to use his body. And now here, and now open ice here. Kettlewell in. Stop. Oh my, he missed it. He shot it out the other side. Kettlewell again. He can't believe he couldn't didn't just score that one. And now back Houdon, now waiting, shooting, right to the net, scores! And that one's going to get called back. Oh my, and Trent Witten once again, he went a bit too hard to the net, and yeah, he did push the goaltender in. Let's see if he did he push the goaltender. Yeah, that wouldn't have went in. 
He pushed the goaltender in the net, and the puck went over the line because of it. So, obviously, that's going to be no goal. So, two goals called back for the West here in Game 6. Obviously, that's a tough pill to swallow if you're the Western Conference. I mean, even though this, these games don't mean anything, but it's really competitive. As now gets... Oh, my! Earl missed... Oh, what a glove save! Morgan, Mutrion, Alex Earl! What a save! Look at that! As that was a good save. As that keeps this a 2-1 game. As can... They, as that's a good save there to keep this from being a 3-1 game, as now face off here in the west zone. That's one there. Gordon with a shot. That's blockered away, and obviously Trent, and both because Trent Witten as well, he he crashed the net a bit too hard the last two times, which caused the goals to be called back, and that's going to do it for the second period. Could this be the final period of the series as the penalty comes to an end to start this one as Maddox bringing that puck in and they need a goal. And now here comes Daniel Keats now with it over to Kettlewell. Five on five yet again as now all right to Motri and he'll cover that puck up. Obviously he's been playing, he's had a few good saves here in this game ever since coming in as... In the ha through the halfway point. And now that's one there by the East. Across Keats. As that's, I believe, Mutri got a piece of that one as well. And another face-off here to start this period. As so, the shots are, I can't really see because I believe it said 15 to 14 for the, the West. But it could be 24 to 14. But you couldn't really see because of the lighting. And now a big shot by Gordon. That missed the net. And now another chance. Mutri with a steal. Here come the West with numbers. And now Ryan trying to feed it to Witten, who was who would have been home free, but couldn't quite get it to him. And now here comes Colby Ryan. In the zone. Big hit along the boards by Wu Wang. Oh my. She stepped into that one. And now right to Ryan. Now, oh my, that was aggressive by Potter. Ryan now battling behind the net. He's going to bring a right of front shot. Rebound scores. Keith Ryan ties game six in the All-Star Series. Wow. As he got his own puck. As stole it there off, I believe that was Colby Hallett. And he just, he got his shot, and then he got his own rebound as well. The defense was probably a bit too passive there for the East. Nonetheless, and now it's a 2-2 now it's a two -two hockey game. And that's one there, and now Ryan Dinn's got it. And this is a brand new one now. As if they can get another one, they could try and force game seven here. Here comes Alex Earl now up with it. Earl now the next goal could decide what's going to happen in this series. Either a game seven or the series ends. And now Bubbles gets it over to Earl and now through the neutral zone trying to gain the west zone. Bubbles shooting! That's an easy save by Morgan Moutry. As Bubbles had nowhere to shoot that one. As look at this hit there. Ryan Din on Alex Earl. Obviously, they have a rivalry dating back here in the PPHL. Obviously, playing each other in the finals last season and then playing each other in the conference finals the year before that as Earl was a member of the Double Doubles then as now gets it back Earl to the point. And now McFlanagan with a shot that missed the net. And now they get it back again. McFlanagan tr with another try, but he can't get that one to the net. And two chances by McFlanagan there couldn't get to the net. As now that dumped in. And now Sullivan gets it up to McFlanagan. Here comes McFlanagan again. Trying to get a third time's the charm. What a big hit that was. Right to the net now. A chance for John Scott. But he couldn't get. He had ran out of real estate there. As now here comes Swain the other way. Rather than Swain waiting. He gains the west zone. Across one timer. Oh my goodness. Scotty Gordon with a bullet. But couldn't beat Morgan Moutry. He has definitely the hardest shot in the league. <clears throat>
Now 11.16 to go in this period. And that's one there. As is, Could we f potentially have our first overtime game here and potentially shoot out because that's the rules here in the All-Star Series. Is it's not, it doesn't mean a lot, so... And, like, you don't want to risk an injury, so it's going to be three on three, five-minute overtimes, and then a shootout if necessary. And this side, this game six. So, there's different rules than the playoffs. I mean, it's not playoff hockey, so... And now here comes Clark Moutry now with the... Moutry trying to bat, get around him, but he couldn't quite do it. Here comes Ross Sullivan up to Ryan, as now... Ryan's got it. Across! What a glove stop on Devin Kettlewell there. As he was, he was, he wanted that one up. But once again, Morgan Moutry up to the task. And the shots are indeed 27 to 17 for the East here. They're trying to get this go ahead goal. <clears throat> and now Keith Ryan's got it over to Moutry. Clark Moutry now trying to feed it to the to Ryan Dim, but he can't get it. And now down to 7.30 to go. Here comes Devin Kettlewell now in the zone. Kettlewell now, he can't get that one. And now Ryan Dim up. Oh, that's turned over, and can they keep the zone? But they can't do it. And now Ryan Dim back out. And now with a chance, what a play by Keats to intercept that one. That could have been a good chance for the West there. And now around, here comes Daniel Keats over to Devin Kettlewell back to Earl. Here comes the East. As oh my turned over at the line. They keep it in. Earl with a rebound. They score. Jacob Pot gives the East the lead with 5.33 to go. As a bad turnover at the line by the West there. Keep as Daniel Keats with a great keep. As a low shot and a rebound. Jacob Putt snuck up there. And now the East have a 3-2 lead here. 5.33 to go. <clears throat> now the West are trailing once again. As now Burke's got it. And it's down to five minutes to go. Can they get a tying goal? But here come the East now again. Jonathan Burke with a big shot. Scores! And back-to-back -back goals for the East. And that might be the insurance they need. <clears throat> Jonathan Burke, two goals, bang, bang. And after all the saves, Morgan Moutry saved, and that's back-to-back -back goals he just let in on back-to-back -back shots. So now it's 4-2, to two as now the West are in a deep hole. This series is looking like it might be over. Here come the East again. Oh, stop, loose in front of the net. Where is the puck? Bubbles cycles that back to the point. Now Gordon now shooting. That hit bodies in front of another shot. Oh my goodness. They each just find this stamina here. Oh my, is Din having trouble with that. They need to get it out. As it, Then the goalie needs to get pulled. As But they can't even get the puck here. Behind the net, Bubbles. Back, shot deflected. Whoa, behind him. Oh my goodness. Houdon at a gas. And now they got to pull the goaltender. But now Howlett's got it for the empty net. He's going to bring it in. Howl empty net scores. <coughs> Colby Howlett has just finished off this All-Star series. <coughs> The East just fell, or the the West just fell apart here in the late stages of the third period. The East turned up the tempo, and now they're going to win the, the All Star Series for a second straight year in a row. Obviously, they won it last year in four. Obviously, that four because it was a best of five last year. But from now on, it's going to be a best of seven. As now, as obviously the West, it's obviously the West complained last year about the sh this, this series being too short. As it also talks about the PPHL playoffs making it longer. As obviously about, I don't know about next season, but maybe the season after that. And now Ryan Swain with another empty net inside and he scores. Another empty netter for the East. And it's 6-2. They score four goals in the final five minutes. So, there's also talks about the PPHL playoffs 
as early as next season being a best of five through three rounds and then a best of seven in the finals. As obviously we don't know yet, but we're going to see. Obviously, there's probably going to be news before the end of this season, and that's going to be a penalty. So Clark Moutry, the Buckmaster Blasters, go in set to do battle for the first game of the season against the Charleston Houdons. As obviously Charles Houdons as now Putt shoots trying to get another one here and another face off just to prolong it a little bit. But what a series for the East here. Obviously dropping game five in Botwood as but winning here and that's gonna do it. The East take this series in six. What a series this was and guys well now we can we can get set and get some preparation for season 16 of the PPHL regular season and then finally the PPHL playoffs as it's it's shaping up to be a really interesting year so I'll see you guys in opening night of the PPHL season